These VO3 AI ads are going absolutely viral lately. They're all created using a new prompting format, which is called JSON prompting. And honestly, you can make some pretty sick stuff with it. So in this video, I will show you exactly how you can do that. Now it all started when this person right here started posting these IKEA unboxing videos. You're not just limited to using this IKEA format. You can do different brands, different styles. You can even do something with characters. So in this video, I will show you how you can make this yourself i will give you all the prompts that you need to use in order to get started with this and i will show you a few creative examples before we dive in, let me tell you this. There's quite a bit of buzz around the word JSON prompting. Some people believe it's a new magical spell that automatically makes your videos look insane. It's not the case at all. It's just a way to structure your video. So you don't even need to use the JSON prompting if you don't want to. In my opinion, it works great for these type of videos. Either way, I will share the exact JSON prompt that I used to create a really cool Starbucks ad like this one. Or this perfume app. I also made this ChatGPT bot that creates the JSON prompts for you by just using my link in the description down below. Okay, first, let me get started with the unboxing videos. So what you wanna do is you wanna go over to the platform where you can get access to Google VO3. For me, I'm using OpenArt. I will leave a link to that in the description down below, but you can also do this directly on Google Flow. Now, what you wanna do next is you wanna use the text to video, not the image to video, but the text to video model. Then you wanna switch it to VO3. The reason why I'm using OpenArt just because I get access to like all of these different AI video generators. And in my opinion, that's much easier than having multiple different subscriptions. So use model VO3. Then for the audio, you wanna leave that on because then you get that cool sound effect with your video. Resolution, you wanna switch it over to 1080p. And then for the video mode, you can either choose fast or normal, but fast is a lot cheaper. So I'm using fast in this case as I wanna save some credits. Next up, you wanna add in your prompt. Now I will share this document with you with all the prompts I use in this video. So for me, I have this Labuba room transformation. That's the first prompt that I'm gonna use. So I'm actually gonna copy all of this. I'm gonna go back to OpenArt and here I'm gonna enter in my prompt. Now, this will cost me a few credits to create. And while this video is generating, let me just explain what JSON prompting is. So basically it's a JavaScript form of code. It's actually a lot more informative in this way. It doesn't mean that you have to write it like that, but if you can see with like what's going on here, it's basically giving us in the exact order of what's going on, what we want to happen, what type of camera, what type of lighting, what type of room, what type of elements. Basically with that, it gives the AI somewhat of a format. Most people just say like, hey, box, unboxing, explosion. That doesn't work. So with this style, you get something cool. It's not quite Labubu. It had a pretty hard time with that. I reckon it is because it's quite new. That was already pretty cool. But let me now show you how you can actually prompt like this so you can make your own custom prompts. And for that, I have inside this document, I have my custom prompt bot. So if you click on this link, then you'll be redirected to ChatGPT and you will get access to my custom bot. Now here, you can simply ask it to give me a JSON VO3 prompt of a box opening room transformation in let's do Tom and Jerry style. So now we hit enter and what it does is I have trained it on the exact format. So now it will write this prompt for you. So it made up all of these details in this prompt itself. If you want to change anything, you have to do that yourself. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go back to open art. And here I'm actually going to copy and paste in my prompt. And now we just do the same thing. And then we have a new video generated like this. So there you have it, that's quite good. Honestly, you might wanna try it out a few more times because in my experience, sometimes it doesn't work as good as I hope to, but that just takes a few generations. Now let's do another example. Next up, I had the idea of doing a Pikachu in a Pokeball and it turned out quite awesome. So yeah, isn't that quite insane? Honestly, I love how the little Pikachus like pop out and how you have like a whole Pikachu themed bedroom for anyone. Like if I was a kid, I would love to have a bedroom like that. And here I have one for Louis Vuitton, a luxury brand. So that's possible as well. 
So the whole unboxing thing is fun, but it's also a bit of a trend. You could also use these kind of like formats to create professional advertisements. Take a look at this one of Apple, for example. For this, you can literally use a prompt like just this. Generate a cinematic prompt for Samsung product launch or do that for Apple, do that for any brand you have in mind. And it will spit out an entire prompt for you that you can just copy in here. Now with this Apple one, it took me a few tries, but I honestly really love this result. And actually I wanna show you this one as well. Just look at how insane this is if you have a product. Now, let me show another one of a Ferrari one that I did. I've seen people do this with Tesla, all kind of different cool things. And I'm just very curious what you would do if you have access to this and what you would make out of this. Let me know in the comments, please. Here you have another one that I already showed in the intro, but this one is of Starbucks. This is sick, like this could literally replace a $100,000 commercial that people pay for. Then this one is my absolute favorite and this one honestly took like four or five tries to get it right, but take a look at this. That's, that's super dope. For this prompt, I will show you briefly right here, but if you wanna get access to the full prompt, just click the link in the description down below, sign up to my newsletter and you will get access to it. Promise you, I won't spam you with bad emails. It's all about AI stuff. Now lastly, to end it off with a banger, I got this perfume ad. If people will call this trash, then I'm gonna fight you in the comments. Like, this is insane to me. Like, this is crazy. I, I lack the vocabulary to give words to this, literally. Wow. Now, if you wanna try this out yourself, then use this prompt bot and you will get some good results. Be creative with this. More creativity generates better prompts, in my opinion, as long as you have a clear objective. Other than that, if you wanna try this using OpenArt, I will leave the link for that as well. You can also use Google Flow if you prefer that. I use this because it also has like the image model. It also has like all the video models that I want to use. That's my reason for using OpenArt. Also click the video that's on the screen right now if you wanna learn how you can make fully AI animated stories like the one that I'm showing right now. It's honestly quite sick what you can do with AI now.